Good morning, you guys. Welcome to another vlog. I already made my morning cappuccino and I'm actually almost done with it. I have some items coming in today for the coffee machine that I want to test out. I am like determined to make the most of this $130 espresso machine until we move into a house and I can decide on what I want for the house because I feel like I've been through so many espresso machines that this time I'm just we're gonna wait on that so I have that coming in and then tomorrow's Sunday so it's Super Bowl Sunday Woo! even though we don't I don't usually care about sports or the Super Bowl but I still watch it because it's enjoyable and it's like the whole thing of watching and eating food I'm here for the food it's just gonna be our little family so we got some chicken wings I'm gonna marinate those I was gonna do chocolate covered strawberries but I might save that for Valentine's Day um, what else? Oh, I want to make a cheesecake. It's like a super simple, easy, three, four ingredient cheesecake. And it's really good in my opinion. Very easy to do. Um, but I wanted to pop on here and start the vlog and then share that I cannot believe that I did this. I don't know what. I, I can be dead tired, but I will always take off my makeup at the end of the day. Like, it does not matter. I will commit to it. I will get my butt up. I will remove my makeup, do my routine. I don't know what the heck happened yesterday, but I laid down on the couch. It was like 11 p.m. And next thing I know, I wake up and it's like 4 o'clock in the morning. And I committed the cardinal sin of not removing my makeup before bed. I've only done this like... I can actually count how many other times I've done this so far. I just know like one other time. I cannot believe I slept in my makeup. Oh my goodness. It's like literally the number one thing you don't do. It's a cardinal sin. You just, you don't sleep in your makeup. But I'm telling you, I don't know what. And I didn't even take any melatonin. It's not like I was exhausted or something. I don't know what the heck it was. But I was like so tired. So tired. If I could bottle that sleep up in pill form. I feel like I would be very successful. I don't know what it was, but I was out. Got out of the house and I decided to go to a local department store because I want to buy a small shallow pot, like nothing too big, to be able to fry some chicken wings. I love air fryer chicken wings and I plan to do that for me and my husband, but the kids don't love like the even though they're still crunchy they love like the breaded ones and i feel like breaded stuff fries best when you fry it in oil even if you are to pan fry it or bake it i just feel like it tastes better when it's fried in oil so i want to get a small pot because we don't fry a lot of things and i feel like a small pot would just be i'd be wasting less oil so i just it's called veals i don't know if anybody's ever heard of it it's almost like tj maxx and ross and things like that but this these don't really have a lot of stuff in it so we'll see sometimes it's like it's like a hit or miss with all these stores it's always like hit or miss um and then i also forgot that i wanted to share some sunglasses with you guys i've had these for a very long time these are from the brand sojos and i feel like a lot of people have them they were shared about many times i think like a year or so ago a lot of influencers and things like that people would share about them and i just really like the shape i feel like they're kind of flattering and like very chic and they really make you feel put together but and I've worked with Sojos in the past. They weren't paid collabs, but they sent me sunglasses in the past when I like, first started YouTube. And then they reached out again and asked if I wanted to collaborate with them. Sojos in general, it's just like, if you're looking for a really affordable designer look for less type sunglasses, I feel like Sojos is it on Amazon. They're a pretty reputable brand, reputable brand on Amazon. They've been around for a long time. Working with them has always been a pleasure, never had any issues, and they have really great styles for like a fraction of the price. And I feel like for sunglasses, I personally don't like, I know that some people love, if you love designer sunglasses, you know, that's amazing, love that for you. But for me personally, I'm, I don't spend a lot of money on sunglasses. So I love having something like Sojo's where you can get, you know, really cute sunglasses for like under $15 sometime. I'm gonna squeeze this clip in here because I forgot the sunglasses in the house, but I wanted to show you 
some of these sunglasses that Sojo sent me. This is a paid collaboration. Thank you so much to Sojo. Like I said, I've worked with them before. I've tried their sunglasses. I love their styles. They're affordable, especially considering the price. I'd say they're really great. So these are definitely one of my favorites for sure. I just feel like they're so chic and something that you can wear every day. But if that's not your style, they do have tons of other ones. I haven't tried any of these on, so we're going to try them on together. And it says some of these are polarized. They come with a little polarized tester situation. So this is the first style. I think these are really cute. They give off uh, aviator vibes, but almost like a feminine aviator because they're tortoise. They have the gold. So let me show you an up close. It has a tortoise shell design and then almost like a greenish lens. Oh, these are really cute. I think these would be perfect. They're, on, they're not too feminine, not too masculine. A lot of the sunglasses do come in other shades as well. Like if you don't like the tortoise shell, usually they have other options, but these are nice. They're very comfortable as well. I think these are great, like unisex almost. Maybe not the tortoise, but the style is. You will also receive a little holder for your sunglasses with every single pair. Okay, so that was pair number one. Let's try pair number two. Ooh, these look fancy. These definitely look like something that I would buy and wear. These are definitely giving, I just saw a girl talk about a designer version of these on Instagram. It just like came up on my For You page, but these have a really cool tortoise design as well, but this one's more prominent. And these just look so chic with a black, all black outfit. This oval shape, I can't remember what brand that she had. I think they were a Mew Mew. I believe because they had like a Mew Mew here but these are so cute and these have more of like the brown ones but I love these so fun they're number three ooh these are gonna be fun for the summertime there are these white ones here I feel like I had something similar but these are different because they're not stark white they seem to be kind of like creamy white yeah these are definitely more like creamy white these are fun as well they're not everybody's vibe <laughs> I can see that not everybody will like veer towards these, but these are definitely fun. These would definitely be fun for summertime for like the beach, bikini, cover up. They almost have like a sporty look to them. The shape kind of reminds me of those, you know those three, 3D glasses that you wear to the theater? Almost like that, um, but these are kind of cool. Okay, here's style number four. So this one's not plastic, it's all metal, it's very lightweight. And this one's also like very fun and trendy. I don't know. I feel like I like all of them. What do you guys think? So many different styles and it's so hard to choose. But the cool thing is, is that you can kind of start your own collection because they're just so affordable and so many styles. So many styles. Sojos is known on Amazon for having some of the best sunglasses in my opinion. I know I'm not the only one that knows about them, but I'm so glad they decided to collaborate again. So thank you again to Sojos, but thought I'd share because when I love something and I actually have it and own it and would buy it, I'm more than happy to work with them as a brand. So I will leave links down below, but I hope you guys enjoy this little segment of sunglasses. Get you some, get you some fun pairs. How cute is this? We had a house. This would be so cute for the coffee table. Cute. Oh my goodness, so cute. We got everything but the pot that we came here for. I don't know, they had some like really cute things out. I don't know if it's because it's spring and they're getting new inventory, but last time I went, they didn't really have that many things, but they had some cute finds. I don't have a house yet, so I can't be buying stuff for the RV, but I'll just show you guys quickly what I got. I got some poopery. I've used this before and it definitely works, especially in a small place like in an RV. Got some chocolate covered pretzels, cause why not? I got some underwear because I needed some new underwear. And these are like seamless, but not really seamless. So, what are you laughing at? It's really nice I got some underwear. Yeah, I got some underwear. I needed some new underwear, you know? And then I got, thought these were so cute, picked them up for Aviana. It's this really cute, let me lower the exposure, like lilac, purple color, and then black, came in a set of two. And they have shorts underneath as well, like biker shorts, and on top more flowy shorts. If they had these for me, I would totally buy them in my size, because I think they're so mm -hmm. cute. And then I got them like a Play-Doh set, because they love playing Play-Doh, so I told them I'd buy them a Play-Doh set. So I go to our next destination, 
Walmart, I might stop yeah, by Dunkin Walmart. Donuts. Dunkin Donuts is on the way to Walmart. And yeah. I saw some people post about their new velvet something, macchiato or something, and I want to give it a try. I feel like I'm already dressed for it anyway. I'm all pink and Valentine's-y. So I haven't been to out for coffee in a long time. So let me might grab that, give you guys my review on that. And I gotta buy some oil as well, pick that up at Walmart, and then head home. I forgot, I picked up some really cute earrings. Last time I was there, I got these heart ones, and this time I decided to pick up these because I thought they were so fun. Like a cute take on a, your typical hoop. And they're really lightweight because the heart ones were so heavy. Yeah, for you. Hello, can I try your, uh, the pink velvet ice macchiato? Is it ice, right? Uh, yes. All right, 458. Thank you. You're welcome. So here's what it looks like. It is so beautiful. This beautiful color of pink. Hi, Liska. Let me go ahead and try it though. I like that it's not too sweet. But I'm not sure what it tastes like. It just tastes like a sweet syrup. Like it's not vanilla. I don't know. I like it. And I like that it's not too sweet. That's kind of like the big thing. Sometimes these drinks can be so sweet. Going to Walmart. I'd say we had quite a productive trip. Spent more money on stuff I didn't need. <laughs> Exhibit A. But I thought these were so cute. I don't know how well they're going to stay alive because hydrangeas I feel like are so hard. Unless you plant them in the ground as bushes and kind of give them a lot of TLC and stuff. But I want to place them maybe in our kitchen window. I, I don't know. I just thought they were like $10. So I was like, okay. They look beautiful. Let me buy them and try them out my green thumb and then I also picked up this grease storage thing because I usually use just cappuccino cups to store like bacon grease from the air fryer and this one also has a strainer and I feel like it'd be nice after we're done doing the chicken wings as well and I also picked up some stuff to make cake pops because I feel like it'd be a nice thing to do with the kids for Valentine's Day so I got this red velvet cake mix some cake pop sticks cream cheese frosting of course and then these pink cake melt candy wafer melt thingies and I have some chocolate at home and then some white chocolate. My espresso tools actually ended up coming in but I'm so sad because they don't fit. So I figured because this is a 51 millimeter portafilter with three ears that this one would fit as well but it doesn't. So I don't know if you guys can see on the side here. These ears are slimmer than this one so it doesn't fit but this is what a bottomless basket looks like. So when the espresso comes out, there are no ears or anything. Plus it looks beautiful and I love the wood handle. I feel like it just really elevates any espresso machine. And I decided to get like a generic one because it was like $17, $18 versus Casa Brew's one. They do sell a bottomless one, but it was like almost 50 bucks. But looks like I'll have to buy that one after all because this one doesn't fit. I tried to do a return and they said that I can keep it. I don't have to return it. Um, so I told, asked, told my husband and asked him if he can like shave it off to kind of match the Casa Brews one. So he's gonna try to do that. I mean, worst case scenario, it doesn't work and I'm keeping it anyway. I don't have to return it. So if I ruin it, I can unscrew the handle. The handle has like a screw, whatever. Long story short. Anyway, I'm hungry, so I wanna eat. My mom, when she, like I said, we came to pick her up. So when we were in New York, she brought a bunch of stuff and she gave me some of her tushonka, which is like the best stuff on earth. It's basically like braised, this is pork. And it's so good. You can eat it with macaroni. You can eat it with mashed potatoes. Ooh, I actually love to do with mashed potatoes like a salad on the side. Literally a perfect fit. Ha! I'm gonna yeah. pull a shot and see. Yeah, just watch the, the make sure there's I little, will. Watch it one more time. Make sure I'm gonna flush it actually. Just pulling a clear shot and nothing in it. I feel like it's gonna work. sure to remove my makeup this time so I don't forget and fall asleep once again. By the way, I have white strips on so it might sound like I have a little bit of a lisp but I've been using this super easy cheesecake recipe since like we first got married and I just really like it. It's really easy. It's not like your New, New York cheesecake or like a water bath cheesecake so it might crack but it's just so easy. You're going to need a graham cracker crust. You can make your own but I just buy one because it's so much easier. And then two packages of cream cheese, two third cup sugar, three eggs, and vanilla. And you basically beat the cream cheese until it's nice and smooth and free of any lumps. And then you add in your eggs, sugar, and vanilla. And then you bake it. I'll leave the recipe down below because I got it from the website momswhothink.com. She does like a sour cream vanilla 
topping on it, but I just do like the cherry filling topping. Um, but you bake it at 350 for 22, 25 minutes until like the toothpick comes out clean. And I don't know, we love it. Good morning, you guys. It is the next morning. It's a beautiful rainy morning. I love rainy days. I just don't like being out on rainy days. I'm making myself a coffee. I actually dialed, was able to dial in the beans after the third shot, but I feel like adding this bottomless quarter filter amped up this machine so much. The pressurized basket was not doing it for me. And not only does this machine look better with the wooden handle porta filter, but I can control so much more. And now I can actually tweak the taste of the beans and extract the most out of them, I feel like, or at least much more than I was able to. So this machine for me went from like $130 worth to way more, which goes to show I was kind of worried that because it's not built with like a boiler and all this other stuff i was worried that i wouldn't be able to accomplish what i wanted to accomplish but i mean the beans the taste profile is not like perfect and i'm still kind of a beginner but guys this is a 130 dollar machine 140 something like that so let's make a coffee together oh and i also already weighed out 14 grams for all my little laboratory coffee holder things here so that way I don't have to spend time weighing it out so let's pull a shot okay here's my cute little latte Get a taste test. Just doing a beyond this here real quick. We're gonna go to church. It's about an hour drive. We're gonna try visiting your church. So what church are we visiting? We well, went a long time ago, but he has to stop by and get something from his uncle in that area and then we're gonna come home closer towards the probably just in time for like to do everything. I'm gonna wave at Yana's hair. I was gonna take a shower but running out of time so I'm just put some dry shampoo in it and then kind of recurl it real quick. So if you curl it, and you put dry shampoo. Right? Dry shampoo kind of gets rid of the oils in your hair. So if you don't have time in between hair washes to wash your hair, it absorbs. It's better to wash your hair. It's always better to wash your hair. Yes. So I'm just like doing her hair real quick, and I'll show you guys my outfit because it's actually kind of cute. Running late, but here is my OOTD. I got this denim that I got off of Amazon. Some booties, and then this bag, and then the sunglasses from yesterday. I feel like are gonna be. Perfect. They're underneath. I'll grab them right now. Look how cute are these? Suede, yeah. Look how cute. All right, you guys. We got out of church. Church was good, and we just stopped by. My husband has to get something from his uncle's house. My father-in-law passed down some. I don't know what it's called in English, but he makes like his own. I'll show you guys when we get home. My kids are watching Papa Show in the back. I don't know if you guys can hear it. It's been such a long day. It's 3.50. We're still not home yet. My husband was helping kind of unload a little bit and then we ended up chatting. We stopped by to get up and we're gonna grab like some gas station food because it's four o'clock. All we had was breakfast and he still wants to stop by the land. And then it's like another almost hour drive home. So it's like a lot of driving. So yeah, we're just gonna get like some Snacky snacks at the gas station. I'm gonna show you guys a little sneak peek. It's been a while since I've been here. But this is kind of our driveway and then it goes all the way up and that's where we plan to build a house not too long from now. It's just like a slow process, but my husband had to grab something from here. So we stopped by. You can see it kind of like flattens out over there at the top. These boots were not made for walking. Actually, they're very comfortable, believe it or not. So the house is gonna be slanting this way. The pink is where you kind of laid it out. Yeah. The garage should be angled more. Yeah, because you're not going to need. So if, if everything's going to be facing this way, you're going to be looking over the hill. See the lake from here? Yeah. Is that supposedly the water? Yeah, that's the lake. It goes all the way down there. And it goes there and then further down there. Look at how delicious this looks. Oh, I can't wait to dig in. So good. So easy. And so good. Here goes nothing. So good. Oh, 
All right, you guys, it's much later in the night. The Super Bowl ended. This whole weekend vlog didn't really go as planned. I wanted to kind of do a lot of recipes and share that with you guys. But because we ate so late, like this whole day, just going to church, church was like an hour drive. And then we stopped by his uncle's house and we stopped by the land, as you guys saw. And by the time we got home, it was a lot of driving. So because we ate in between, it was kind of like a late lunch. I ended up not, like nobody was really that hungry. So I ended up not doing a lot of the things. But I still plan to make them. So maybe I'll include them in another vlog. We'll see. Nothing special about the cheesecake. It was really good though. I'll leave that recipe down below. But you guys enjoyed hanging out and I hope to see you guys in future videos. Thank you.